All right, Shalom. Kala yum la, yaha ba shmi al shabba shurun kakadash. Dabana to the apostles and the elders of great millstone who rule and teach well. Most peace, love, and salutations to the brothers doing this work in truth and sincerity. Shalom. This is the brother of the top back again through the spirit with another lesson. Lord willing, it be the edifying. Um, this is the book of Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says, therefore, it says, thus said Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths. Where is the good way? Right, because honestly, man, this is had this has been on my mind every single day. You know what I'm saying? Dealing with Babylon and everything and the wickedness that comes with this society and the, and being in the midst of all of this shit, it just makes you want the old way of things being done, you know? Like we want the old ways, the old way of life. We want the old things, you know? And it's just it's vexing. You know what I'm saying? This life, this whole life is vexing. Everything within it is vexing. You know what I'm saying? Like like King Solomon said, all things is vanity and vexation of spirit, man. Um, Ecclesiastes. Ecclesiastes uh, 1 and 14 It says I have seen all the works That are done under the sun And behold all is vanity And vexation of spirit So We want something that's better man And what Yahweh Shai is going to bring Is going to be better Than what we're dealing with now That's why One of the main reasons Why we're looking forward To the new rulership A new leader A new king so to speak Ecclesiastes 1 and 14 I have I observed everything Everything going on under the sun, so we—that's what we do in this in modern day Babylon. What do I have the whole grievance? Let me see, uh, why have you have me to behold grievance? Hold on, let me see, because a lot of the shit that we deal with in society just grieves us, man. You know, we have, but we have to deal with this shit. But in all actuality, we don't want to be in it. This is the book of Habakkuk one and one. The burden which Habakkuk the prophet did see. Oh, Yahweh, how long shall I cry and thou not hear? That's what we saying, man. How long? How long, Lord? Until you do, do something about this place. It says, even cry out unto thee of violence and thou would not save. Why does thou shew me iniquity? That's all we see, iniquity, sin upon sin. We're forced to, uh, because we can't execute the law, we're forced to accept that, that this shit goes on in this society. Even though we want to force the law. You know, we want to be the true judges, the true policemen of the earth and enforce the law of the commandments. But Esau is ruling and we can't. So it's a grievance to, to behold these things. You know what I'm saying? It says, why thou, thou shew, shew me iniquity and cause me to behold grievance? Because the things that we be we see, we go through, we deal with, it's grievance, man. It vexes you. It says, for spoiling and violence are, are, are before me. Right. All kinds of shit going on in America, man. Violence, killing murderers, you know, murders, killings, robberies, just disloyalty amongst people. Like, I hate this shit. Everybody uh, doing snake shit. Nobody's real. Everybody's just fucking faking. Out, it's like everybody out to get you, so to speak, man. It says, "For spoiling and and violence are before me, and they that rise, that that raise up strife and contention." Right? Because what the people don't know how to be peaceful. Nobody knows how to get along. Everybody got a problem. Everybody angry and frustrated and vexed, and it causes altercations. And we just ready for all of this shit to be put at. Put, we're ready for peace, man. You know, me personally, I've been on. I'm ready for peace, man. You know what I'm saying? That's what's been my mentality lately because we've been dealing with so much bullshit. My mind just want to be at peace. My body just want to be at peace. Verse four, it says, "Therefore the law is slacked, and judgment does never go forth." Why forth? Because Esau, Edom, the so-called white man, is ruling. He's not gonna. He's it is, he doesn't execute judgment in the earth. It says. For the wicked doth compass about the righteous, therefore wrong judgment proceeded. So let's go back. Ecclesiastes 1 and 14 in the NLT, it says, I observed everything going on under, under the sun. 
and really it is meaningless like the chasing like chasing the wind so all the things that are done on the earth ultimately they are meaningless they have no significant value to it you know what i'm saying everything is eventually you get tired of everything man everything bro is everything gets vexing everything's get tiresome you know so all the things that are down here are meaningless in vain So let's read that again. Ecclesiastes 1 and 14. I observed everything going on under the sun. And really, it is all meaningless, like chasing the wind. So that's right. That's plain and simple to the point, man. Everything under the sun is really meaningless, man. The women, you know, the, the lust of the flesh. That's, that's just, it's meaningless, man. What value does it have to it? It doesn't bring forth nothing but fucking wickedness, man. It doesn't bring forth nothing but wickedness. Nothing but wickedness, man. That's why we need to be out of these chains of darkness, man. These wicked ass bodies. So, as of lately, man, this has been like, my last few lessons have been centered around peace you know what i'm saying the establishing of the new kingdom because that that prophecy these prophecies are gonna happen they're gonna happen no matter what nobody has to say about it yahweh will rule and he will rule with rigor upon his enemies let me see uh, i'm gonna get luke 19 and 27 because it's gonna be a new authority in the earth and we're gonna love it, man. Uh, Luke 19 and 27. But those mine enemies, which were not that I should reign over them, bring them, bring hither and slay them before me. So if you don't want, if you don't want Yahweh our Lord, to reign over you, you are gonna be killed. Point blank, period, man. We're gonna, you're gonna, you're gonna be gotten out of the way. You're gonna be getting gotten rid of, man. You're gonna be executed. Because we ain't taking no full fucking answer, man. You're gonna be forced to subject. You're gonna be forced into subjection on the Israelites, man. It's the book of First Chronicles, chapter eighteen, verse thirteen. It says, "It says, and he put garrisons in Edom." And all the Edomites became David's servants. Thus, Yahweh preserved David whithersoever he went. So you, that's going to happen again, man. That is going to happen again. All of our enemies are going to be put under subjection. Under Israelites, man. Under us. Forcefully. And it's going to be through the spirit and power of Yahweh by Shem Yahushai that we are going to be, we're going we're gonna to subdue you. The Lord is going to give us spiritual powers to subdue you. And we're going to beat the hell out you damn nations, man. Because you don't beat us down. We're going to beat you down. Psalms 110 and 3. Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. And the beauties of holiness from the womb of the morning dies to do of thy youth. So we are going to beat you people with spiritual powers, man. We're going to have rule. We're going to have dominion. We're going to have power. Literal power. To do as we please, man. And we're going to have spiritual powers. So, personally, man, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure I speak for all brothers when I say this, man. But we we ready to get the hell out of here, man. You know, we're ready to go. We're ready to go home. We're homesick. We're ready to return to the Lord and be at peace and live forever, man. You know, and just enjoy, enjoy this, enjoy life, man. We're not able to enjoy life because we're constantly in a system of slavery, man. We're constantly in a system of, of oppression. This is the book of Psalms 58 in verse uh, 6. This is talking about the wicked. 
the Lord is going to break the it says break their teeth O power in their mouth break out the strong teeth of the young lions O Yahweh so the teeth represents the military might the Lord is going to break the teeth of the wicked he's going to break you down Esau and we can't wait till the Lord do it because you're so strong right now you're so powerful right now you don't think you can be pulled down but the, guess what the Lord is going to show you something man he's going to show you a trick it's going to bring your ass down This is the book of um, um, Psalm 62. And um, I'm going to start at 7. It says, In the Most High is my salvation and my glory. The rock of my strength and my refuge is in the Most High. Yahweh Trust in Him at all times. Ye people, pour out your hearts before Him. The Most High is the refuge for us. Salah. Surely men of low degree of vanity and, and men of high degree, which Esau would be considered a man of high degree, are a lie to be laid in the balance they are both altogether lighter than vanity trust not in oppression and become not vain in robbery if riches increase set not your heart upon them so trust not in oppression we're being oppressed right now and our people trust in this oppression look at them dumbasses about to wreck but um Low, I completely got off track from my original precept. I, mean, I didn't even finish it. Let me go back to Jeremiah 6 and 16. It says, Thus said Yahweh, stand ye in the ways and see and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your soul. That's what we're looking for. That rest for our souls, man. In the good way, in the right way. Not in Babylon, in its wickedness, but in the right way that the Lord intended it for to be. But they said we will not walk therein. That's why our people are going to die because they don't want to walk in the way that the Lord wants them to walk. They want to do their own goddamn thing and then turn around and expect the Lord to have respect for them or to honor them when they're doing their own thing, when they're not following instruction. That's why the Lord going to get rid of them and going to kill them. So with that, man, Lord, when this lesson was edifying and quick through the spirit, you know, a quick in transit lesson, uh, I'm going to give all praise and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. This is, the, uh, this is it for the concept. Unless another precept come to my head. Let me see. Uh, oppression is going to be. You know, you know, I be yeah, concerning this lesson, I believe that's all through the Spirit. So with that, I'm going to give all praise to praises to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Kakodash. That one us to the apostles and the elders of great men, don't rule each well. Most peace, love, and salutation to the all the brothers who's work in truth and sincerity. When I say Shalom, Kwam Yasha Allah, Wa Aba Baba, Wa Aba Adawam, Shalom. Low willingness, that's edifying. Quick through the spirit, shall I want?